Welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to put this handle back on this sledge. Now, this is kind of an unusual uh, uh, video, but sometime in your life you're going to have to do this. So, just you need to watch. Okay, now I've got friends here watching. Just say hi. Hi! They're all excited about this, so we'll let them watch. Okay, first step. We need to clean the rust out from in here. So, I first started using a file, but that's not very much fun. So then, I hooked up my drill, and I've got a little, what do you call that, a burr what? Burr bit. A burr bit. Used for a die grinder. And uh, you just basically went in there, cleaned her all up. I did that before, so not to bore you. Now, we have a new handle here, and with this handle comes a kit with some epoxy, but first thing we gotta do is we gotta rough up this little piece of fiberglass that's sticking out. So basically all we're gonna do is take a file and rough it up. If it's really smooth, nothing's really gonna stick to it, so that's why we're gonna rough it up. That ought to do her. Hope the lighting is good, it's getting a little bit dark. So, we're just going to set this up. Hopefully this is going to work out okay here. So basically we got to set it. We're going to put our hammer head on like this. Set it all up so that it's uh, nice and perfect. And then we're going to fill the top up with epoxy. It's a small little kit that we got. And in the kit comes a little bit of caulking. So we're going to take that caulking and we're going to caulk along the bottom here so that none of the epoxy runs out. So I'll do that and then we'll come back when I get her done. Now I'm just finishing up with the caulking and the caulking is kind of nice because it allows me to center the hammerhead on the on the new uh, handle here. That looks pretty good. Okay, time to mix the epoxy. Basically just got a little paper bowl. And we're just going to dump the uh, component A and component B together. Could probably use this. But I put an effort in and get in the bowl, so I'm going to use the bowl. We're just going to use the whole container. So we're not too sure how much it's going to take. We'll do our best here to squeeze out as much as we can because you got to have equal parts. Don't forget to do that. Okay, we'll just mix everything up. Make sure you mix it up really well. It'll start to look a little milky. That's when you know you're just about there. And then we'll just pour it in. Now I'm really counting on this to run into the hole here, so... We may have to just persuade it a little bit.
Now, I'm not too sure what they said for dry time on this, but uh, I'm assuming it's going to be at least a half an hour. So, I'm going to get this packed in here and we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Okay, we got her all filled up. Now, instructions say wait 24 hours, so we'll do that. See what it looks like in the morning.